Hello everyone, I'm Foolish Beer. This video is a little different from my others. This is a video about my visit to Pemberton Park, Atlanta, Georgia. Two main locations I'm going to talk about are the World of Coca-Cola and the Georgia Aquarium. First, start out visiting the World of Coca-Cola. This museum celebrates the impact the Coca-Cola company has on the world. It's marvelous industry, the way it stretches across the world. Tell me in the comments if you guys have ever heard of Coca-Cola. I would be very, very surprised if you haven't. And even if you don't drink Coca-Cola itself, it has very many subsidiaries, which I'm going to talk about later in this vi video. When you enter the world of Coca-Cola, you get a complimentary can of Coca-Cola. And so I ended up picking a Coca-Cola Life. And that was actually pretty tasty, despite me normally not really liking Coca-Cola. Uh, only problem is it makes your stomach fill up with CO2. It's probably because of the cane sugar and stevia, but keep that in mind. So, just a little backstory. Coca-Cola was first invented by John Pemberton in the 1800s when Pemberton was trying to make a medicine for headaches. The endeavor failed, so he instead marketed it as a refreshing beverage that he called Coca-Cola. And in order to sell it, the manager of the company gave out tickets for free cans of Coca-Cola, and that's what we now know as a coupon. And that's how coupons were invented. I didn't know that till I uh, listened to a podcast about it. It's very interesting. Just a little another tidbit fact. In 1985, Coca-Cola changed its formula abruptly. They called it New Coke. So, New Coke appeared in Season 3 of Stranger Things, and Coca-Cola actually made some New Coke for just to commemorate Season 3 of Stranger Things. And I have, for this reason, I have tasted New Coke side-by-side side with regular Coke. Honestly, I think New Coke is better, but I guess people weren't thinking that way back in 1985 because... People hated New Coke, and it only lasted 73 days on the shelf before old Coca-Cola returned. Personal favorite part of visiting the world of Coca-Cola was sampling all sorts of Coca-Cola products that came all from all over the world. And I have favorites from every region. My favorite from Latin America is a version from Coca Costa Rica. I don't remember the name. Um, Europe, I think, is uh, that would be Fanta, because that's where it was invented, in, in Germany. I can talk about that later. Asia has pineapple-flavored soda, which is pretty good, actually. And, they're this, and there's this drink from Africa called Madagascar. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it was pretty flat, so it wasn't carbonated. And my personal favorite coming from North America is Barks Root Beer. Root Beer is just my favorite drink in general, so I don't think anyone would be surprised by that. <laughs> Tell me in the comments what your favorite Coca-Cola product is. There's there's quite a bit, but don't accidentally give me a Pepsi product. They're very similar because they both stretch out over different types of drinks. After I visited the world of Coca-Cola, I moved on to the Georgia Aquarium, which is one of the biggest and best aquariums in the world. The very biggest is located in Japan or somewhere around there. So... For the Georgia Aquarium, I took very many photos there, some of which I am going to be using in this section of the video. But I'm just going to do like three points, and that should suffice, because that's just like the main part of the aquarium. Like, that's what people talk about. So, it's the only aquarium in North America to have whale sharks, and it has four of them. The whale shark's length is 40.1 feet, which is longer than your average bus, which is pretty amazing. They have very large mouths, but their throat is actually the diameter of a quarter. And for that reason, the whale shark is harmless to humans, and it only eats plankton and krill. And also, before... Just to clear things up, the whale shark is the largest fish. Just saying, throwing it out there, because there are marine animals that are bigger, but they are not fish. 
And another species I really liked is the green turtle. It is one of the most critically endangered species in the ocean because they eat plastic bags in the ocean thinking they're jellyfish. I can honestly see how they would get confused because when it's floating in water, a plastic bag looks very much like a jellyfish. So that's why we should probably clean up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and other other patches in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Fun fact, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is ten times the size of the state of Texas. Unbelievable. That... I can't believe that there's that much trash in, in the ocean. We we gotta clean that up. Like, maybe I'll be part of the team that does that. Although I'm probably not gonna be a marine biologist. Maybe. It would be cool. And my personal favorite marine animal of all is the bottlenose dolphin. I've always wanted to swim with dolphins. I think the thing is with the bottlenose dolphin is that they're very they're very intelligent and athletic. Like, that would surprise most people, but Dolphins are actually very playful. Like, before its first birthday, a dolphin will actually pick a series of whistles that are actually its name. So, they have names. And they just get together in pods and play around. They're also... Dolphins are also known for having very good teamwork. Like, these aren't bottlenose dolphins, but... Orcas, which are the largest type of dolphin, are known to swim together, making big waves to flip their prey, seals, off of icebergs. Bottlenose dolphins don't do that because they just eat fish that are already in the water. So they don't need to do that. But I am willing to bet that they do work together to herd together schools of fish. And anyway, back to the aquarium. At the aquarium, there are, I think there's five bottlenose dolphins. And I saw them perform at a show called Dolphin Celebration. I have no film from that because I was not allowed to record or flash photography. Would have been cool, but mm, sometimes you gotta suffer. Pretty much covers it. That was my visit to Pemberton Park, Atlanta, Georgia. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. And since this is the first of its kind and not a gaming video, uh, let me know if you want to see more. Like, I think it would be cool to just have this on my channel. And I actually took a lot of these photos myself. Please like, comment, and sub subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Foolish Beer signing off.